Hey yo guys, what is up? MC is back with another video. In today's video, we are going to be talking about the mystery boosters that Wizards of the Coast just unveiled at Richmond GP. Rather than me just giving my thoughts on these boosters, I'm going to be going uh, and talking about what's in them, what they contain. That's that means the same thing. <laughs> I'm going to be talking about what's in them, my uh, some of my thoughts on them, and then explaining some of the cards in them and explaining the boosters themselves. So let's hop into this. Mystery boosters, I'm going to pop up a picture right around here. Mystery boosters are a new thing by Wizards of the Coast, and they have two versions. There's one that is convention booster, which you can get at GPs and conventions, hence the name. And the second one you can get at uh, local game stores. However, we do not know anything about these ones yet. We just know that it's going to be a thing, but we do not currently know anything about them besides the fact that they are making them. So right now, we just know about what's in the convention boosters because they opened them up at the Richmond GP. So that's what kind of we're going to be talking about today. So to start this off, I'm going to pop up a screen recording that I have on my phone and I'm going to be reading cards, some of the cards off for you. I'm not going to read all of them because there are tons of them. And by tons, I mean tons. There is over a thousand cards in the set that it was confirmed by Gavin Verhey on Twitter. Uh, but there is also under 2,000 cards in the set. So that gives us a bit of a window. But we know that there's more than 1,000 and less than 2,000 cards in the set. So I figured we'd start off this video by looking at some of the contents of these boosters. However, this is going to be a long video. So I'm just giving you a heads up now. It's probably going to be like 20 minutes. You'll know, obviously, once this video is released, but this is going to be longer than my average video is. But hey, we got lots to talk about today. That's always a good thing. Um, so yeah, let's talk about some of these cards. So as you can see right now, what I have up on the screen is the playtest cards. These are cards that are not legal in any format, any any time, anywhere, except for these convention boosters. Drafting is sealed. You can use them in that. They are basically literally what they sound like. They are test cards that Wizards of the Coast is, are testing out and they're putting them in this in these boosters so that we can test the cards for them and know if they want to put them in the sets or not or anything like them uh, and make them a real card. We don't actually know if these are going to be in the local game store version of these boosters. We just know that they are in the convention boosters. They might be in the um, game store boosters edition of, of these. However, we do not know that, so can't tell you for sure. So the first card that I want to talk about here, is, this is kind of just an example, Golgari Death Swarm 3 Black Green 4-4 four, four Flying Vigilance Creature Bat Fungus Horror. So we can see it's almost like a piece of paper. It's not actually a piece of paper, but it's almost like a piece of paper laid over an actual magic card. You will also notice, if I go to the next one here, you'll notice that there is this little Planeswalker symbol on every single card. That is to note that it is from the set because there are many reprints from the set. This is allowing us to know which set it is from because they do have the set symbols of the original set that they were printed in. So for example, let's go over to Krenko here. Actually, that's a bad example because we can't really see the full card. Let's go to, here we go, Temporal Mastery. We can see that it was uh, has the set logo of one of the masters. I think it was masters 15 I could be wrong or modern masters something or other and we can see that in the bottom left Everything is the same except that planeswalker symbol is there for us to know that it was from the mystery boosters So that is um, a little bit of an explanation there So some of the cards here there are some fun ones that I'm gonna point out here This one's an interesting one world enchantments mana abundance to red world enchantment if a player would add mana instead add instead all players add that mana so it's kind of an interesting card this is one of the reprints right here we can see that there is the planeswalker symbol down in the bottom mana crypt that tells you if there's anything it's going to tell you is that these boosters are probably not going to be the typical four dollars uh if they're if they're <laughs> if there's mana crypts in this set which is like a 100 hour plus card i think Hopefully I'm right about that. Correct me in the comments if I'm not. But if there's that card in the set, this these boosters are going to be pricey if there's any chance of pulling a card that expensive in the set. It's probably going to be around, oh, uh, around the Iconic Masters price range or Modern, uh, Modern Horizons price range. That's probably where these are going to fall. Probably around the, probably, I'd say $8 to $13 um, 
per pack, and that is the LGS version, is my assumption. I think the convention ones will go for more because they're gonna be more rare because they're only gonna be found in conventions. Let's carry on here. We have um, a Norn pronouncer. We see some reprints in the back there. Uh, another Mana Abundance. We have a Tybalt, Planeswalker, Mirror Lotus. This is actually an interesting one. I kind of would like this to be a thing. Uh, Mirror Lotus, zero artifact. Reflect for zero as it enters the battlefield. With, uh, each opponent may pay zero. And when they do, they create a token of this, except it lacks this ability. Uh, and tap it to exile card name. That's just like as the test card so that it's not like a full thing. Uh, and it's add three mana of any color. So kind of an interesting thing there. You can see there's more, some of the arts are funny on these. Patient Turtle, I love that. <laughs> That's very adorable, very cute indeed. Uh, and then you can just see another kind of couple packs opened here. Rift, Legendary Land. I'll try and read this to you guys. Before drawing your hand, you may start the game with card name in your opening hand if you do uh, draw one fewer card. Uh, card name enters the battlefield taps and it taps for a colorless mana, it looks like. So that's a very interesting one. I would like to see that. If you can like kind of choose what card you want, if you want that land, you can take it instead of drawing it one card. I love that kind of thing, like things that differ how you start the game. That'd be something I'd like to see in future sets. Let me know if you agree with that. Some other stuff here that I want to point out, looks like th these are all mostly reprints and we see that in the top left. So how these packs work, we're gonna just take a quick break from the <laughs> spoilers, but uh, how these packs work is there are two of each common, of each color, either common or uncommon, one multicolored common or uncommon, one playtest card, uh, one rare or mythic after coming like in set after um, M15, so anything later than M15 could be in your pack. Uh, as a rare or mythic, and uh, I said multicolor, common or uncommon, but that can also be replaced with an artifact, so it's either or. Also, an old, an old framed card. Let's see if I can find an example of that for you guys here. So, as we see, we have I forget what this card is called, but we have one from 1997, Weatherlight, uh, which is banned in cumulative upkeep of one, two, four. So there's one old framed card like that so like it could be onslaught weatherlight anything like that could be in your pack as well my decorations are falling apart <laughs> so yeah more of stuff that i kind of already showed you here arouse vanguard so this is an interesting one as well i'll read this one to you uh it's called vanguard that's the type of card that it is requirement your starting deck contains only instant sorcery or land cards that's interesting that like that could be that could go either way <laughs> uh starting hand size plus one starting life total minus five uh so you start with eight cards and you start with 15 life or 35 life if you're playing commander uh or something like that if an instant or sorcery spell you cast uh would cause you to draw one or more cards draw an additional card if an instant or sorcery spell you cast would deal damage to a permanent or player it deals one damage one additional damage to that player or permanent. So that's kind of an interesting one. Once again, all these test cards are not necessarily going to be printed. Many of them will not be printed. I just want to get that across now <laughs> before you guys assume that these are going to be actual cards. These are not actually confirmed cards that are being printed. They're being printed in these mystery boosters as test cards. That's all we know. Um, I suspect maybe a couple of them or some of the mechanics off of them will get put into future sets. As you see, we have uh, Kiki Jiki, Mirror Breaker, reprint up there what else have we got here so this one is one i thought that was funny i don't know how you would use this the card is one with death and it's one black instant you lose the game so i'm wondering if maybe like you could make an opponent gain control of your instant and then they lose the game that'd be pretty cool but if you're just doing it to commit suicide it does not seem like a good idea <laughs> so i don't know um, but yeah, I thought that was a funny one. This was another funny one, Metagamer 2-2, double white. Cards in the winning decks or deck of the latest Mythic Championship cost one more to cast, which is interesting. It could make the meta of the uh, Mythic Championship, if anyone, if you're playing against a card like that, could make them have a harder time playing their deck. That could be cool. Um, I'm down for something like that. I don't know, let me know what you guys think. 
on all these kind of test cards. Which ones are your favorite? <laughs> Another one I thought was funny, Time Sidewalk for Quadruple Blue Sorcery. Take an extra turn after this one. If it's in your opening hand, you may exile it. If you do, create four Time Walk token cards and shuffle them into your deck. <laughs> like, that would be great. That's awesome. As I showed you, you got the Temple of Mastery reprint, Sliv Mizzet, <laughs> have Hive Mind, two Double Blue, Double Red, four, four. Uh, slivers you control have flying and whenever you draw a card it deals one damage to any target and tap it to draw a card <laughs> like that is that'd be an insane sliver like that'd be absolutely like insane another one that I thought was actually really cool and would be really fun to see Wooberg including colorless 8-8 eight, eight legendary creature sliver Eldrazi. Eldrazi you control are, are slivers in addition to their other types. Slivers you control have Devoid and Inhalator 1 and for three colorless, create a 1-1 one, one, uh, Eldrazi Sliver creature token, and it has sacrificed this creature to add a colorless. That's an interesting one. Let's see, personal decoy. This was also a funny one. I'm gonna, you guys can pause the video if you wanna read that. I'm not gonna read that one. Um, and then just some other test cards here. So, kind of moving on from the spoilers and the te some of the test cards, there are plenty, plenty more, and you can look at some other Instagram accounts or YouTube videos to see more if you're interested. Uh, but I don't want to go over all of them because I don't want this video to be an hour long. I mean, maybe if you guys want, we can do an hour podcast kind of video where we just go over spoilers of the test cards. I'm down for that, but you guys just got to let me know. Um, so some of the mystery booster reprints that are confirmed. So some of the mystery booster reprints that are confirmed include Mana Crypt, Lotus Petal, K Command, Elish Norn, Corsair of Crucifix, M Bobble, Soul Ring, Bolt, Helix, and Basilisk Collar. But yeah, those are some of the uh, guaranteed reprints in the set for sure that we know of. Mana Crypt being one of those ones where it's like, whoa, I want that. Also Elish Norn. So yeah, some pretty big hits in the, uh, in the packs, but hopefully they do not include something like a $20 price tag just to get a booster pack. <laughs> Cause that would kind of suck. So the next thing I want to talk about here is just some of my thoughts on the set and that's going to pretty much wrap up the video. Some of my thoughts personally on the set is that I think it's a really cool idea. I like where they're going with it. I know a lot of people are complaining like they didn't meet my expectations and I'm like, well, I mean, it's a mystery. What are you going to really get? How high were your expectations really? Were you expecting Black Lotus to be in the set? Like, you know what I mean? I'm not really too much of a complainer when it comes to this kind of stuff, so I'm kind of just here to talk about it and have a good time. So personally, I think this set's pretty cool. I thought it was a good idea. The test cards are very interesting. They're, if they're in the LGS packs where you can play with them, not at a convention, that'd be fun and make it kind of interesting as well. Some of the reprints in there seem pretty cool. The only thing I would be kind of disappointed with is that some of the commons and uncommons, they kind of just seem like crap uncommons and commons. Uh, bulk stuff like no fatal push that kind of thing like none of the three four dollar commons kind of interesting uh, Another thing I'd like to see would be the fetch lands being put into the set because those need to be reprinted not necessarily to lower the value of cards But they just need to be reprinted for the sake of being reprinted like <laughs> just reprint them already <laughs> But yeah, that'd be fun uh, they also make it interesting for uh, interesting situation in draft and limited uh, kind of situations like playing with a fetch land that hasn't happened in a while for that kind of thing. So that'd be a cool thing to see. Um, will it happen? Who knows? Probably not, but maybe. Who knows? But yeah, so that's kind of my thoughts on them. I think they're pretty slick. I'll probably get to buy a couple, open them up on the channel, hopefully, because uh, that'd just be fun. I'm already looking at them. Uh, the convention editions, I want to buy a couple, even if they're like 20 bucks a pop, 50 bucks a pop. I'll probably buy one, even if I get overcharged by a mad amount. I don't care. <laughs> Take my money. I want to open stuff on YouTube. Let's go. <laughs> but um, that's going to pretty much wrap up this video. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, let me know what you guys' thoughts are down below. Are you kind of disappointed with the set? Are you excited about the set? Let me know. This is the stuff I want to know from you guys as well. If you want to help support the channel, you can just subscribe and like the video. That'd be great. You can also go over to my Instagram. We are doing a giveaway of doing a giveaway over on my Instagram. So you guys can check that out as well. Uh, maybe you'll win the card. Who knows? You can also help support the channel even more by checking out our merch link or some other stuff down in the description box below. I'll let you guys check that out. Uh, some of the stickers over there on the merch site are pretty freaking cool. You can go check them out. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you all in the next video. Make sure you let me know and 
the rest of the community know what your thoughts are on these mystery boosters. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you all in the next one. See you guys.